Indeed, and he's won the last three frames in a row. He's two away from a Thank second you, title. Mark Selby. Mark Selby to break. So Mark Selby breaks off in this 28th frame two to become champion of the world for the second time. I'm just looking at things when we in the chair, John, was it a look of resignation or just sort of a little bit numb after losing that frame? He thought he had it in the bag and what a black Selby pulled out there. Well, yeah, I'm sure there was a few times, well, particularly on the black, that he thought, I'll get back in here. Well, that's not a bad little rub. And the fact that he looked very closely to see he's left the red, as we see that black again, I mean, that was amazing. I mean, it, he made it look easy, but it was so thin. And he played it with the tracer side, which is amazing. But Ding Jun Wei, I think he may still have a little bit left. He was very keen to see whether Mark could get past the green. I don't think he can to play this red near the right corner. And just the fact that a player is looking and hoping that he's not left the gym, that he can win this. But obviously, the next couple of frames, very important. As long as you can keep your opponent two away from that winning line, you feel as though you can make an odd mistake. But once they get within one frame, it's very hard. But he has covered the red. The best safety shot from Mark Selby now, and he's left a chance of a pot here for Ding Zhong Wei. to the cushion but just dropping the blue in will leave him on this red near the right corner <laughs> and now of course we'll be looking for an angle on the black Six. This, is, this is the last of the loose reds only that awkward red on the right hand side of the table which will not be interesting Ding Jun Wei in this shot, just leave a good angle on the black. Seven. Well, maybe a little bit lower than you'd like, but it's the perfect angle to go into the edge of the red, which is the best way to go. But you must pay due care and attention to the pot. Yeah, sometimes you can just take your eye off the pot. You're hitting it with a lot of force. Make sure the black first. Uh, how's your look? First glance, not very good. That's unlucky. 14. Mm. I mean, he's hit it with enough pace that you would think that he'd have a shot of some sort. Yeah, unlucky. I think the red that's closest to the cue ball may go to the far left corner pocket. I think it just passes the pink, but can't play. It's fraught with danger. So just having to resort to the safety, as well as having to play Here's well. 14. He needs the run of the balls just to change a little, little bit to help him. Not it so far. Selby say, good shot. That tells us he's 
Feels he's in a spot of bother here. He can't see a safety. Just over a minute and getting longer to decide what to play. It's that red near the left middle that is the danger ball. How can he cover a part of that? Well, I just put up a, a line here. It's possible he could just come off the left-hand side cushion and try and nestle into the, the bottom of the pack of reds. Well, he's got to be very delicate with that particular shot. If he slips by the pack, he could leave the red closest to the pink on the right hand side so he's but it's just a one cushion escape I mean it doesn't look that difficult yeah the only problem I've seen if you hit that red and you just didn't hit it full you could leave a red to the far left corner I think that's what will worry him he's looked a couple of times at these two reds on the right hand side cushion and whether he could just nestle up to one of them and get the cover but he'd have to be so delicate with the shot Anything a little bit too hard would leave a red to the left middle. Coming up to two and a half minutes now. Yeah, this is another alternative. Off that side cushion and try and nestle in that side of the pack of reds. That's why he's having a look at now if he nestles on that red at the bottom of the pack will he be leaving the one that you suggested mm. and that's what he was afraid of one well, to the left centre and the one to the right centre John yep he had to hit it absolutely perfect so when he said good shot to Ding Jun Wei he meant it. Now, can Ding Junhui take advantage? Oh! Oh! Just caught the near jaw. Just caught the near jaw. Didn't go in that clean. Just caught the near jaw, but it was enough to catch the pocket. In these instances, you've got to forget the score line and just take one ball at a time. Seven. Eight. There's this frame and one more before the mid-session interval. Just got to hang on in there. Fourteen. Nineteen. He's just having a look. I think he'll play for the blue, but he may even elect to play for the green. The only reason I'm suggesting that, well, he has played for the blue, but because the pink is separated Plenty. slightly from the reds, it's not an automatic hit the pink and the pink will open the reds. That's yes. why I thought maybe green and come into the side of them. But he's played the blue. I don't think there's a red in that cluster of six in between pink and black that is available. But as I say, without pink being separated, it's not a formality to open them up. 
Well, he played on the side. That red needs to bounce, and it has done. Judged the cannon perfectly. Controlled it. Five. Good shot. Yeah, he played it. Lovely. He didn't go into the pink, as you suggested, because he could have lost the cue ball. Just judged it. Passed by the pink and into the couple of reds. The side of that bunch, and that's brought them in. Lovely. Nice 26. angle on the black now. We can go into the pack of four and still be on the red. That's closest to the left corner pocket. Slightly hampered. Could have done with that cue ball. Just separating itself from the red a little more and giving them possibility to just cue it freely. Yeah, couldn't do much with the cue ball, but as it turned out, he's kept the, the white away from the side cushion. There's a little bit of pressure on this black. Just got to roll it in. Normally, wouldn't be, but this is the World Championship. And he's playing catch up. Can you make that the last phone we hear tonight, please? <coughs> That's all you need a pressure pot to play. Right in the heart of the pocket, well played. And he's nicely on the red. Great 41. pot under the circumstances. Just a couple more. Pots away, we get his first frame on the board this evening. This has been good stuff from Ding Chung Lee. Forty-nine. So there's pink now. Fifty. Put him 70 points ahead with just 67 remaining. Well played, Lin Zhong Wei. Particularly after losing 56. such a close last frame, this is an excellent reply. Showing a lot of character here. 57. Yeah, you asked me at the start of the frame what I, th what I thought he's left, and, and, and when he got the snooker behind the green, and, and the way he looked to see if he'd covered the red near the, left, uh, the right corner pocket, that's shown me a man that is still up for this, and he's still 63. looking to play good safety and take his chances. I mean, he has been questioned 64. in the past about temperament. Now, whether we credit... Terry Griffiths with it, I don't know, but he's certainly shown great temperament so far in this World Championship. Yeah, absolutely. No more so than in this final, particularly when he was 6 0 down. <laughs> and still out there, and he 67. still believing, and that's a great sign. And as you said, John, as long as you can keep your opponent where he needs two frames, you always feel that you have some sort of a chance. 73. Well, the red didn't go in. Please him a lot to get his first frame on the board tonight. He closes the gap to four, but it's still Max Selby who leads Ting Jung Wee by 16 frames to 12.